What's up? This is All Hell Breaks Loops, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show um, the amazing things you can do within OBS and Streamlabs OBS uh, to incorporate some of the free assets that I've released. So right now, this is the finished product, basically. Uh, I've got this cool rotating Aerith and, um, and the video background. So I'm just going to show you how to do that from scratch. We're just going to go and remove all these, and just so I can show you how to pull these up. So now what we're basically going to do is use two different video layers. So they're both going to be media sources. And then the special thing about the Aerith one is that it's actually an alpha layer. So that means it has a layer of transparency to it. And that makes it really easy to just kind of float on top of everything else. So we're going to go in here and uh, it's got alpha in the name. That's how you know. Uh, it's ProRes. And the key thing is to loop. Otherwise, it'll just play once and then stop. So we do that and we've got a floating Aerith. Cool. Um, and then the other thing I put out was um, the distress pack, which is just kind of some like like um, glitchy ambient sort of things. Also media source, also video. Um, and we're just going to call that background right here. And then with that, go in and again, pick the file. In this case, distress promo video. And again, very key loop. So now we're going to do that and Aerith disappeared. And the reason is because you see on this background layer, if we were to turn this off, this is the top layer and then alpha is the bottom. We don't see any change on that. So what we're going to do is simply just drag it below and now we have Aerith on top and background on the bottom. And we can just kind of toggle this on and off like that. And so that's cool. Um, and how does this turn into a stream? And so I just have a webcam connected. So I'm just going to go over here, video capture device, aka webcam. We can call it webcam. Um, enter and then in here in device I'm going to select my HD Pro webcam 920 go all the way high which is actually 1080 and then go and do that so now you can see me um, but you can't see Aerith or any of the cool things so again we'll have to drag it down and put it right in the middle and we get Aerith on top and so this makes sense for visuals, but if you're doing like a production stream or something like that, you might want to use these assets in the bottom corner. And so what's amazing is you can just resize it like that. So now when I click out everything, I just have this kind of cool branding spot in the corner and then you can see me. And if you want to get rid of me, well, you could just do that. And you still have your little tiny Aerith. So that's a really cool way to use the uh, free video packs that I put out um, in a way that's really engaging on OBS. All right, now the same thing in Streamlabs OBS because the interface is slightly different. So we're starting with the final product here. We've got the alpha layer on top and then the background. We're gonna select both of these and gonna remove them, confirm here, now we have nothing. We're gonna go add a media source right here, add source and then do a new source instead. We are gonna call this alpha. Once alpha is added, you add the source. Make sure loop is enabled because that'll cause it to loop. Otherwise, it'll just play once. And then again, selecting this alpha ProRes that I have for free on Gumroad with a link in the description below. Um, everything's set here. We're going to do done. That just gives us Aerith. We're going to also want to add the background. Again, another media source. Add source. And this time, again, a new source. We're going to call this one background. Once background is added, we're going to again enable loop, very key, and go to browse and then select the background loop, in this case from the distress pack. And that looks good. So now we stop seeing Aerith, and that's because the background is on top of the alpha. Now the alpha is on top as it's listed top to bottom right here. Um, great. Now let's go ahead and add that webcam. So we're going to go in here and go down to video capture device, add source, video capture device, that's fine. And we're going to select option our webcam right here, go all the way to high for 1920 by 1080, and it looks good. So there I am here. And again, Aerith dropped out. So we're going to pull this down, and now we have Aerith on top. And just in case we want her in, let's say, the bottom left corner where there's some space, we can just drag that box over to here, and then you can see it right there. And clicking out of that, that seems more like a stream. So now I could explain what I'm doing, type on my computer, and be all set. Uh, so that is how you pull up the Aerith assets and combine them and it will free way through OBS or Streamlabs OBS. So I hope you're able to use these and you can do some really interesting things on your streams with some free assets and free software. Thanks so much.